We have a pocket dolly or a doorway dolly for you to use to get some really nice beauty shots, uh, some really nice motion shots with your camera. Um, it takes a little bit to set up, a little bit to balance, um, and you might not be able to use it in every situation you plan for, um, but you can definitely try it out. So, not a lot to this kit. Okay, we've got the slider, we've got the base plate attachment for the slider, we've got the crank control, and then we've got the, uh, the ball uh, level for attaching the camera. So let's take a look at all of this. The slider is Velcroed in, just so it doesn't slide around in the case. How many times can I say slide in one section? So here's our slider. Um, it does come with uh, screw mounts for mounting this to a tripod plate and mounting it on a tripod. Um, but for this demo, we're just going to put it on the tabletop. Um, anytime you can have a very level surface to start with, that's a great way to start so that you know you're sliding on level ground. So here's our slide control. Goes on this side and it does line up. So we can get in just like that. And we can have very, very nice, smooth control. Okay. Um, different ways to assemble your camera and plate structure. Uh, what we have is the recommended method. Okay. So uh, all these parts come apart. Um, so you can choose what will work best for your situation. Uh, to start, we have the screw-on base. So that's here. It has a lot of different screw holes. So if for some reason you wanted to put a plate directly on this, you could in any of these configurations. Um, but this is what we recommend. So there is the, uh, the double-sided plate for screwing both into the plate and adding one of these mounts on. So we're going to put that in the center. Nice and tight but not too tight, just in case you need to undo it. Okay, uh, We're going to then attach the ball head. So the uh, Gideos MH1002 is going to go right on. And this gives us the option to control both the pan and the tilt very easily. Okay, The next thing we're going to add is the base plate that comes with the slider. And this is a quick release plate. Uh, very similar to the quick release plate you'll use on uh, either of the cameras for the tripods. We will add this on, screws in. There we are. And this plate has a level on it so that you can see and it has both a left, right, and a forward, backward level with belt bubble so that you can see uh, if you're not mounting on a perfectly flat surface um, when your uh, camera head is exactly level. Also, if you, don't, if you want a canted shot, you can see exactly how far off one way or another it is. All right, so I'm going to try and get this as level as possible just for our demo here. So there's my forward, backward. And here comes my bubble. And close enough. Tighten that up. So we're pretty close. Uh, next, we'll attach the quick release plate to the underside of the camera. Um, if you're going to use the HMC 150, um, this will make this rig fairly heavy. Um, so you're going to want to be careful if you put this on a tripod, whether it's going to teeter one way or another. Make sure that tripod is really locked up tight. Make sure the legs on the tripod are locked up very tight because it's going to add a considerable amount of weight. If you're using the 7D, it's uh, not too much weight. So for this demo, we're going to use a 7D camera. We'll add the plate. Slide our camera on from the back. And depending on how you do this, where you adjust your plate, we're going to run into a problem of the lock for the plate uh, running into the camera body. So we might have to get a little more creative in how we assemble this plate. So maybe we'll put it sideways. So 
and maybe we'll go sideways. So now I don't have a problem with locking this up, it doesn't run into anything. And the beauty of this, you're going to say, well, it's facing the wrong way. Oh no, we can pan the head and get it going any direction we want. Um, we can also tilt the head, so our bubble level, if we don't really care about that, we can bubble it wherever we want it to be. Turn the camera on. If you're using the 7D, you've got the level and the horizon uh, feature in the 7D that you can view to see if the camera is level or as level as you want it to be. Fire it up, do some test shots, and slide away. Be careful when you're using the slider that as you're going, you might be so in love with your shot that you run into things. So just watch the edges. Okay, you don't want to run into the the uh, the edge here. Okay, also don't want to pinch your fingers. So just be aware of your boundaries on both sides.